Yo, what's going on, Aries? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Nico Price versus Alex Morono. Nico Price, 15 and 7 against 24 and 9. 1, 3, 0, oh, and 1 in his last five fights for Nico Price, 34 years old, 6 foot tall, with a 76 inch reach, fighting the great white Alex Morono, 24 and 9, like I said, 3 and 2 in his last five fights, 2 and 1 in his last three, 33 years old, 5'11 with a 72 inch reach. These guys fought years ago at this point Morono was having the best of them went to the second round I believe and that's where Price was able to catch Morono against the cage and finish Morono against the cage I believe Nico Price was still undefeated at the time this is a weird one because Nico Price like I said was undefeated at one point I think he was it was actually overturned to a no contest because of Pete for because of marijuana which whatever he was 10 and 0 at one point he's 15 and 7 that's 5 and 7 out of his last 12 fights and he's been finished quite a few times five six times he's been finished in the ufc five by tk or ko not good he's seven and seven seven and two would be nine and seven because the cowboy decision was overturned and the uh, morono fight was overturned as well which was a draw initially for the cowboy fight but I guess so, 8, 7, and 1 would be his actual record. But again, fighting a guy like Alex Morono, who's not necessarily a big finisher, I just think he's a little bit better right now. I don't think Nico Price is very good anymore, even though he's been able to get, he got a win over Alex uh, Oliveira, who's no longer in the UFC. He fought Robbie Lawler, who absolutely destroyed him. Phil Rowe beat the crap out of him late in the fight. Um... The last time he looked decent was James Vick, but even that, James Vick was doing decent until he was finished. Randy Brown, he destroyed, but then there's the decline. So he loses to Vicente. He beats Joban, Morono, Thatch. Cool. And then he loses to Luke, which Luke was a monster back then. Then he beats uh, Sullivan and Randy Brown by the hammer fist on, on in, in uh, the guard. And then loses to Alassan, beats Tim Means, destroyed by Jeff Neal, beats James Vick, who's not good, and then loses to Luque, draws with Cowboy, loses to Pereira, beats Oliveira, and then loses to Phil Rowe and Robbie Lawler. Was originally scheduled against Jeremiah Wells, but that's okay. He's instead fighting Alex, the great white, Morono. I like Morono. He's a little bit better at this point in his career. Not as um, glass jawy, I would say. Um, he's 13 6 and 0 and 1 in the UFC. He's been finished two times by Chaos Williams and Nico Price. Oh, and Santiago Ponzinibbio. The other one's a no contest, obviously. But again, out of his last, you know, what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8? Out of his last 8, he's 6 and 2. So much better than Nico Price. Alex Morono will be your winner. And as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know who you're picking. Peace.